it'll be fine. All right, you know, we have all been told how important daily exercise is to our health, but it can be challenging to find an interesting activity to do day in and day out. Okay, you know? but let me tell you something. This sport that we are about to show you has the obvious benefit of exercise, but the added bonus of camaraderie that keeps players coming on back. That's right. It's a craze that's sweeping the nation, and it definitely got me hooked after I played once. Oh, I'm excited. Pickle addicts. <laughs> Texas trouble when we go to Arizona. <laughs> Rita and Stephanie met just over a year ago playing one of the fastest growing sports in America, pickleball. Rita and her husband, Jim, first found the game in Arizona. So we came back about three years ago and got a group going here. The multi-generational game was named after the inventor, Joel Pritchard's dog, but others say his wife named the sport because it reminded her of the pickle boat in rowing the boat that holds a mixed crew. Pickleball was invented almost 50 years ago and it's a combination of tennis, badminton, and ping pong. It's played with a paddle and a wiffle ball. The rules are similar to tennis. You serve cross court. You only score points when you're serving. The serving team scores the points. See the white strap in front of the net yes. bus side? That's called the kitchen. Okay. So when you serve, you're going to serve to the opposite court and it has to go past that kitchen. After the serve, the serve has to bounce on the other side of the court and when they return it, that ball has to bounce before you can hit it. After that, you can start taking the ball out of the air, but you cannot be in the no volley zone, which is the area seven feet behind the net on either side. So if a ball lands in that area, you can go in and hit it after it bounces. But if you want to hit it out of the air, you cannot be standing in that no volley zone. Pickleball is played on a surface one third of a tennis court. It's a, a really good game for seniors because the court is smaller than a tennis court and there's not as much running as you have in tennis. But it's also a game where the grandfather can compete with his grandson. I think it's great exercise that I'm not one to like to go to the gym. It's easy on uh, old people's knees. The game's low impact and easy on the joints. Plus, there's not as much running. Here you're getting exercise and having fun at the same time. Loved the sport the first time I played it. It was a good competition to come out and play. Another bonus, pickleball is inexpensive. All you need is a pair of tennis shoes. It's just a great way to meet and greet. And you know, you play. laugh a lot, and I think we all need laughter. But, you know, there's not really very much for um, in, in Amarillo for the adult community. We just try to get more and more people involved. Well, that looks like fun. I, I think I want to get in. I want to get in on that. It was a lot of fun. It's very addicting. So the group I met, they play Mondays and Thursdays from 3 to 5 and Saturdays from 9 to 11 at Trinity Baptist Church. And for more information on the sport and the group, you go to usapa.org. So Scott is my husband's ten, uh, tennis doubles partner, actually. The, really? Yeah, the, and he has been trying to get Cody to play. And I am like, what in the world is pickleball? Cody would love pickleball. I know. He, he likes anything that he can win at, you know. Yeah. Let's be honest. He's all in. All right, very good. Coming up next, what does it take?